I'm not sure where to start with that. What a what a Saturday lunchtime, a Friday lunchtime even. Yeah, Friday lunchtime. Well, look, praise the Lord, you know, on a very religious day that uh, that we've got the three points, but what magnificent performance. First half thought we were outstanding. We always weren't going to be able to keep up that that momentum, and especially with you know the, the decimation of, of players we have that we wouldn't be able to bring you know real game changers on. But what what performance? You know, first off we were brilliant. I thought we were really really good. Uh, we had to. You know, dig in, defend our box well, and we did. Apart from two shots, really, you know, Shays made a good save. They hit the post. Apart from that, can't remember him having anything else. Were you worried that after that sort of onslaught at the start that you'd not got your noses in front, given the amount they put into it? No, look, we keep going. That's the, the character of this group and the belief that they have in what we do, and and was phenomenal. And we've asked them to do something different today. You know, we, I thought you know tactically we were superb in terms of two of the outstanding young individuals in in the league this year have been Brennan Johnson and Jed Spence, and we went to Mari Bell and and uh, Anya Dinmer against them, and, and felt we were you know, felt they were we were exceptional. To Today. So I thought tactically we were brilliant. I thought you know we went up against the you know top top side um, and managed you know managed to get the win. Well, Robert Snodgrass as well the years back as well, wasn't he? Absolutely. Look, and we knew that we'd need him because you know sooner or later you would. We didn't know quite the fact that eight central midfield players would be injured, you know, or eight people that can play in that. Um, and that's the, the thing we have. You know, they they've been very settled for us in the team that they've had um, in terms of what they've done and in terms of how they've you know. The, the eleven they've been able to, we've had to chop and change through no fault of our own, you know, in, in terms of that. So it just shows the character we've had, and, and I'm so proud of the group. And Naismith taking the penalty because of Adi Bayo's miss the other night. Well, it's just a little bit to mix it up. We have to keep them guessing because there have been heaps of pressure on Adi, on on on, uh, on Eli today, and, and and on a young kid with stakes so high. Look, we maybe had to take it away from him a little bit, you know. It's that's a big call, but he realised it. He's humble enough to. to Accept that because at the end of the day, it's the team that, 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 that matters. Smith volunteer? Or had to, had to well, yeah, we spoke yesterday about it. You know, we've had a couple of takers um, uh, that, that we, we, we could have used, and, and we took him. And, and, and look, it, it was a big moment because it was a big moment the other night. We'd, we'd, we'd have beaten Hadfield, I'm, I'm convinced, if, if we'd scored the pen. We had the momentum with us, we were going after the game, um, and, and I feel we would have won that game the other night. So it was such a big moment that I felt if. If it didn't quite go right, the penalty didn't quite go right, then you know that could have affected us badly today. Um, Sonny Bradley sent off a lot of bookings as well. He was trigger happy, wasn't he? Mm. I mean everything. I mean, and, and to be fair, first half we, we said okay, as long as he, he's consistent with that. Cal Naismith has gone past um, Keenan Davis and he's pulled him back, literally pulled him back, stopped the counter attack, and he let it go. And I don't know why. And then he booked every single thing after. I think he booked two in the crowd. I think um, he was he, that thing. And he's got some big decisions wrong, you know. The, the sending off is, is wrong because he's come, from an he's, got, he's come from an offside position and he wasn't our player that touched touched the ball. So they've got big decisions wrong. There's a penalty here first half with Elijah's cut in, Warrow's arms right out. So a lot of big decisions wrong there. And back to God's country on Monday. Absolutely. And um, Sunday we'll be going, uh, so we, you know we've got to get down there, rest up, and and go again. It's just a different type of game, but one we have to be right up for again. I think my favourite bit was you keeping up with Fred on your dinner down that touchline. Well, I, I, I for about two yards maybe but that's, that's about all you're going to keep up with Fred Adima there's, there's, I'm not sure there's a footballer on the planet that could do that just quickly the word on the crowd I mean it's tremendous answer. one absolute we, to be fair we, we made a big thing of it before the game and we said they'll be with us when we start so how do you keep with them then you've got to keep being us you keep playing front footed you keep doing stuff quick you got to put stuff in the box you got to press you've got to give them something to get behind and they did but what an atmosphere I mean these are the games we wanted these are the games that we've we've had since my time well probably six months after my time here, we you know we started to build momentum, and, and what an afternoon! You know what an afternoon.